Aloha. Today we're going to take a look at forecasting. Uh, forecasting is basically a guess. We're, we're going to try to guess how many units of each of our products we're going to be able to sell. Um, this is out of our control. We can control the price of our product. We can control um, uh, what our product looks like. We can control its size, how fast it is. We can control exactly where it shows up on the perceptual map. We can control its age. There's a lot of things we have absolute control over. But one thing that we don't have control over is the customer. We can't make the customer buy our product. That's true in foundation. That's true also in business in the real world. What we, we need to know or have some idea of how many we're going to sell because we need to know how many to make, obviously. So how do we determine this? Well, we determine this by making a guess. And that's all a forecast is, is a guess. Now, there are good guesses and there are bad guesses. And what I'd like to help you do today is to uh, learn how to make better guesses or forecasts of your sales. Uh, why is this important? Well, let, let's take a look here. This is page four of your fast track. Let's take a look at the Baldwin Company. Now, this is for period three. And um, Baldwin has three products, Baker, BCG, and BBG. Uh, they've sold quite a few of each, but they have lots of inventory left over. If you want to um, maximize your grade in the class and maximize your profits in real life, you don't want to have a lot of uh, inventory left over sitting on your shelf because you've paid money to create these things. You've tied up cash to create this product and now the inventory is sitting on the shelf. Um, it's not cash. So in many cases, in fact in most cases, this is the cause of an emergency loan. So you'll lose a star in your grading if you get an emergency loan. That's one thing. You'll also lose uh, points if you have too much inventory or too little inventory. What's too little? Too little is zero. So this is a zero down here, this product Creek. We call this stocking out. If we sold 517 units, we could have sold more, but we didn't have enough because we didn't make enough. Now that results in lost sales. And uh, we don't know just by looking at this, how many we could have sold. But if we could have sold another 200,000 at the price of uh, $39 each, then we gave up a lot of money here by stocking out. But let's stick with uh, Baldwin for the time being. Your objective in foundation is, is to have more ending inventory than zero, so you don't want to stock out, but you want to have less ending inventory than two months worth or one-sixth of your production. So let's look at uh, Baker here, for instance. You sold 1256. So two months worth, or one sixth, would be 200 units left over. Uh, and you have 327. So 327 is about a quarter of a year, or a little more than three months worth of inventory sitting on the shelf. That's too much. Okay, uh, BCG is even worse. You sold 514 and you have 260 left on the shelf, which is six months worth of inventory. So if you didn't make anything in the next year, you'd have enough product at current demand to, have, to sell for six months. Uh, BBG is, is worse than that. BBG has about 10 months worth of inventory left over. So this is a big waste of cash. It ties up your cash. Um, lots of things happen to inventory, it gets stolen, it uh, spoils, it becomes obsolete. So we want to keep our inventory as low as possible. The ideal inventory would be one, because that way we know we didn't stock out and we don't have anything tied up in inventory. This product down here, eBamp, 
has uh, an inventory of 21 and sales of 574. So that's really good. That's, that's what you, you want to look for something like that. Okay, let's go up here and we're going to concentrate on BBG. So this is round three. I want to forecast uh, sales of BBG for round four. How would I do that? <clears throat> well, one, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look down here on the low tech page. So here's the low tech page. I can see that total segment demand last year was 6708. That means all products from all companies sold a total of 6708 units to low tech. Now we know that low tech increases by 10% a year. So next year, the total unit sales or total unit demand will be 10% greater than this. So we know that for sure. Our only question is how much of that are we going to sell? We call that market share. Let's move down here to the end of the page. This lists all the products that sold to low tech in period three. And this is their market share. Okay, days sold 19% of this number, 6708. Okay, so 19% of 6708, they sold 1,293 units. The product we're going to look at is BBG. Okay, BBG sold 4% of the total last year, which was 281 units. Okay, now BBG also sold some units to high tech. In fact, given the price of 3850, it was probably more attractive to high tech than it was to low tech. But we're going to look at both segments because we're selling to both segments. So let's take a look over here on the right hand side. This column here, December Customer Survey, uh, gives an indication of what your customers think of your product at the end of period three, in, which is also what they think of your product at the beginning of period four. So at the end of period three, we give all the customers a survey. They fill it out. They rate your products. Uh, the rating is between zero and 100. The highest rated product in this industry is Days. It has, a, it has a ranking of 36. So that's the product that customers like best as period four begins. Okay, our product is BBG and it has a customer survey score of 11. Now I can figure out if nothing changes, if nobody changes their product, I can tell what my market share for next year will be. I can just add up all of these scores, find the total, and then find out what my score is as a percentage of the total. And that will be my market share. I've created a little, um, I've created a little uh, Excel spreadsheet here to show you how this works. Okay, so these are the numbers right here that I took off the December survey score for period three. So they all add up to 199. Um, BBG score is 11. So if I take 11 divided by 199, that means that if nothing changes through the year, my product will sell 5.5% of the total low tech market demand. Now I know that the total low tech market demand for next year is 6708. Okay. So last year was 6708. It increases by 10%. So if I multiply it by 1.1, I get next year's market demand. Okay. Then what share of that am I likely to get? And my share from this column here, I say my share is likely to be 5.5%. So right here, this shows me that 5.5% of the total demand is 468 units. 
Okay? Now, I can have as much as two months worth or one sixth of the total left over uh, and still meet my inventory goals. So I want to find out what one sixth of this is. So one sixth of 406 is 68 units. So 406 plus 68 units is 473 units. So if I make 473 units I, and the demand is a little greater than I think it would be, I'll still have enough and I won't stock out. Sometimes we call that a safety stock, this extra one-sixth. Okay? So if I take 406 plus 68 equals 473, that's how much I want to make for low tech. But remember, we also sell BBG to high tech. So I'll go down here. I'll go over here to my uh, high tech page. High tech is 37.32 is last year's demand. And high tech increases by 20% per year. Shows right here. Now let's go down and find BBG. Okay, here's BBG right here. Last year I had 10% of the market. What will I have next year? Well, I'll add up all the December survey scores. BBG's is 21. So I go back here. I add them all up. BBG's is 21. So that's 8.1% of the market. So I'll go here where it says, uh, you know, what was uh, last year's high-tech demand? It was 37.32. If I increase that by 20%, next year we'll sell 4478. Uh, if nothing changes, I will probably have 8.1% of the market. So I'll put 8.1% there. 8.1% of that market is 363 units. Okay? One sixth of 363 is 60. So I'm going to make 423 units for high tech and 473 units for low tech. That, that comes up to be 897 units. But I already have 555 units in inventory. How do I know that? I go back up here to page 4 of Fast Track. See, I have this 555 units here. Still sitting there from last year. I want to sell that so I can get my cash. Okay. So I need 897 units. I have 555 in inventory. For period four, I want to make 342 more units of BBG. If I do that, I should be pretty close um, to what actually happens. That's a pretty reasonable forecast. Um, now, I need to do this same thing. I need to make the same kind of calculation, the same kind of analysis for every product that I have. So this will work out a lot better for you than just making a, you know, a guess by the seat of your pants. So I hope that helps. Uh, good luck.